Hi, this is Newton from New Horizons. The previous video showed you how to insert a video into PowerPoint. Once that video is inserted, you can see it's selected. And because it's selected, a video tools ribbon is displayed here called Format and Playback. If I click away from the video so it's no longer selected, I'm just going to click again, that video tools ribbon disappears. So I need to do, if I want it back again, I need to click on the video itself that I've inserted. Now what we'll do is we'll quickly examine the format ribbon in this video and the first button on the left will play the video in in this view in PowerPoint. It won't play it in presentation mode, it'll play it just here. Corrections will allow me to actually change the brightness and contrast of the video. Okay. As you can see at the moment, it's set to brightness 0% and contrast 0%. But if we hover over different ones, you can see there are different settings. At the moment, I'm hovered over brightness 20% and contrast 20%. Okay. And what this will allow me to do is change the colour of the video. It's probably be more intriguing. What I can do, before I click on that colour, I can actually click on a part of the video and it will show me what that part of the video looks like. I'm not playing it, I've just clicked onto it like fast forwarded so to speak. And if I hover over the colour, I can actually when I hover over colour it will change the colour of the video. Yeah. And actually and it'll tell you what the colours are. And the video will play in this kind of colour, this kind of negative brown accent. Um so that's colour for us. Now we've got poster frame. What this will allow me to do, if you notice when we went to the beginning of the video go back to the beginning it's like a blank so that's how the video shows even when I click away from it that's how it shows if I want a frame of the video to dis be displayed all the time that's literally called the poster frame I'm going to click back on it to show the video and I can click on any item in the video and I, I can select this part of the video to be a poster frame so that's what I'll do I'll click on that and say current frame is the poster frame so when I click away from it now that will be displayed all the time as kind of like a poster frame. Yeah. I've got to click back on it to go back to format. And now what I can do as well is reset design. If I've put colours or resized it, I can reset it back to its original defaults. Yeah. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to click on this video styles gallery. This click on this arrow here will open up and expand the gallery for me to see. And um Clicking on this arrow will scroll through the video styles gallery. So we've got a distinction between buttons here. This this arrow will scroll through it. This one will open up the gallery. And basically what this allows me to do is put a kind of like different style on the video frame that I want. Yeah? So let's have a look. A little video style. I can put a massive frame around it there. It will show me that. Or a circular frame or a metal rounded rectangle frame. We'll choose this one, the metal frame one. Click on that. Okay. I can choose another one. I'm not restricted. There are a whole host of them there. I can, when I click on the video, apply a shape to the video. It's quite fun. It's quite colourful. If I go down to here and I select callouts, I can apply a cloud callout, which basically allows the video to play in that callout shape. What I'm going to do is press Ctrl Z to undo that. I can apply a different colour to the border. Even though I selected the, from the video styles, I can apply I can apply a nice red or a nice brown, which I've done there. Yeah. And last but not least, I've clicked away. I need to click back on to see the, the format thing again. There's video effects that I can apply to the video. Now you can apply shadows, reflections if you wanted to a glow, but also something to be weary of are the 3D rotations. I don't think your audience will appreciate looking at a video in a kind of like weird rotational way. Okay, so try and stay away from those. Shadows aren't too bad as long as they're not too intense. Okay, I'm going to click away from video effects. And last but not least, okay, I can set the size of the video here. This will deal with the height. So, click on the down arrow will obviously decrease the height. I've got it down to 10 centimeters. And this will 
set the video width up, which I'm going to increase a bit. And as you can see, as I do that, as I increase the width, the height increases. And that's to keep what's called the aspect ratio of the video, so it plays in kind of like proportion. Right, that ends my discussion on the format ribbon. Join me next when I talk about the playback ribbon. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.